seven year old with a severe sore throat and respiratory distress. She's sitting up and drooling with an axillary temperature of 102 Fahrenheit, 38.9 Celsius. She denies choking on anything, and mom mentioned that her shots are not up to date. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cheat sheets. Remember, whatever you're using, whether it's Brazzle tape or hand heavy, red goes to the head and measure to the heel. And you can see clearly this child falls into the orange zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So epiglottitis. When you're dealing with croup, most kids with croup, again, are cute. They're sitting up, they've got a barky cough, runny nose, lots of boogers, that's croup. Epiglottitis, remember, we don't see nearly as often as we used to because of vaccinations. However, epiglottitis, just like whooping cough and just like measles, is making a comeback. And it's making a comeback in two categories of patients, the biggest of which is adults. It's those of us that were born before the advent of the H flu, otherwise known as the epiglottitis vaccine. We're also seeing it in children who, for religious or other reasons, that their parents opt not to immunize their kids. So when it comes to epiglottitis, a couple things that'll clue you in that it's not croup. Number one is they have what's called a fast and furious fever. A fast and furious fever means they looked fabulous at noon. Five hours later, they're sitting up with a temp of 104. That ain't croup. Number two, do they sit up or lay down? It's called they sit up. And why do they sit up? It's called they can't breathe. And it's just like do COPD ears ever lay down flat? And the answer is sure, when they're dead. But it's not going to happen until that point, and these kids are the same way. Meaning, they're sitting up with a temp of 104, that's not croup. Take that one step further, what comes out of their mouth is called drool. And why don't they swallow is called they can't. It's too swollen, it's too tender, it's not going to happen. So when somebody mentions the E word, simply everything is done, if you can help it, upstairs in the operating room. Meaning, couple thou shalt not violate commandments when it comes to these kids. Number one, thou shalt not take him away from mom or dad. Number two, thou shalt not piss him off. Because if they start crying, they very quickly might be dying. Number three, and probably most importantly, anywhere outside of the PEDS ICU or the OR, thou shalt not hold them down and look in the back of their throat. Because anesthesia will remind you the only time you want to look in the back of this kid's throat is when they're in the operating room. And under general anesthesia, ENT is about to put a tube or a trach into it. So when it comes to epiglottitis, especially in kids who haven't had all their shots, if somebody mentions the E word, it's pretty much hands off until this kid is upstairs in the OR.